when you're ready. Hello, I'm Declan. This is our presentation on printing. The first method we're using is hand printing. There are six types of hand printing. Now, they are very effective in private areas. You can use them for one copy at a time, but for large industrial scale is practically useless. The images can be very high quality, but they take a lot of skill to make. As I said before, the advantages are aesthetically pleasing, something for to do, and often cheaper than pays one to do it. But it can be time consuming, and if you don't have the skills yourself, it's very expensive. You can also make all the single copies at a time. Right, the first method is etching, which involves covering a plate in acid resistant covering scraping away a pattern or an image and exposing the plate to some form of acid. The acid will corrode the plate and leave an image burnt into it. Upon cleaning the plate, you'll have the image carved in, which can be used for later processes. The issue with etching is it's expensive to do because acid, metal sheet, costs quite a lot. But if you hire someone to carve the image for you, it's going to be very expensive. Whereas the advantages are it's reusable and creates a very high quality image. The next method is intaglio, which involves placing an engraved plate with ink on the plate into a press with paper. This will move the ink onto the image. The disadvantages of this is it can be dangerous and the um, equipment required is rather expensive. Very similar to mechanical. The advantages are it can be used multiple times and often the images end up being very high quality. The next type is liner cut, which involves carving an image for one block, rolling ink over the actual carved image, and then pressing onto paper. The disadvantages are you have to be very skilled in order to make a very nice image using this. But the advantages are it's very cheap and they can do it anyway. It's a very amateur process. The next method is screen print, which involves bringing down a screen over paper and using this screen as somewhat stencil. You then roll ink over the top of the um, screen, which will move the ink onto the paper to create an image. This is very easy to do, but the disadvantage is it could be expensive, as most machinery is going to cost quite a lot of money. You can also do it by hand, which involves making your own actual screens, but that will also take time and cost a lot of money. Another method is wood cut, very similar to liner cut, but much more elaborate. The advantages are very easy images, disadvantages is very skillful and it will also take a long time to start the search. And the last type of printing is lithography, which involves painting an image using some sort of grease, this be used for like fat, things like that, that resist ink. You'll then expose the paper to ink and the grease will actually repel it and create an image where the grease was. The advantage of this method is it can create very little to very illustrious images. Disadvantages are it's very hard to do. It's not commonly practiced. Wow. 
and on some paper um, with the ink and the leaf letters. This is used for things such as wallpaper, stamps, cards or even newspapers. It, it allows a very Oh, it has a very continuous pattern, um, and it's the advantages of these letters are very fast, and the cylinders, they are really expensive, but you can just take off the cylinders, and then, because you can reuse, like, you know, like another pattern, um, but the disadvantages are that, that, that you need a diamond cutter to be able to, like, engrave, the, engrave it onto the metal cylinder, so this can be very, very expensive. The machines themselves can cost anything from £50,000 to £1 million. Um, the next part of the screen printing is screen processing. Um, it's the same as the other type of screen printing, only it's done mechanically. Um, the machine holds a stencil in place with a metal screen. And the, the most common machine is the Revolution, which is this one here. Um, it's like an automatic carousel which turns round and there are two versions, there's a five colour or a six colour version. They all have up to eight tables on them and they are suitable for pre-cut and textiles such as tops, towels and pillows. The average printing size for one of these is um, 50 by 70 centimetres and it is over 800 cycles per hour. They can cost between £3,000 and £6,000 depending on where you buy them from and what brand they are and depending on whether it's a 5 or 6 print one but the only difference between them is a couple of hundred pounds and the cost per colour can be up to £20 for the quality that you want. Um, so they have similar machines for newspapers and magazines. Uh, the disadvantages to these is that smaller companies like Toast and the Rob and Record and that and they're quite expensive for them to buy as a self funded but the advantage is they don't have to make much of a profit when they sell them on because they usually get all their income from what they make and they're a different type of machine it's only got a one press one for these but it works just the same There's also machines for label print on bottles. The advantages for all the machines though is that they work independently and the speed is, can be adjusted to a slow or to a fast print. Um, it can, the printing length can vary up to two to nine times and they tend to use the nine times print for thick materials such as jumpers to achieve a higher coverage. They also have a flash system, um, which is just in this corner. And it starts between each carousel and it dries the colour as well to prevent it from running. And that, that's what makes the quality of the products really good. And the machine itself is quite easy to clean and there's no skills involved really. You just have to stand by it all the time because it just needs someone to make sure that the process is running smoothly as well as being able to wipe it down if it gets dirty or stop it in case of an emergency. Now, with digital printing, it's like the more technical, advised way to print. It's more beneficial in terms of speed and it's more beneficial in terms of accessibility. The first type is photocopying, which is pretty much a machine that copies, prints or sells the pieces of paper. Now, with photocopying, it's good because you can pretty much print a single piece of paper onto thousands or whatever you want onto many pieces of paper, giving it access to give out to many people as well, if you're printing one single page, you know, you're printing single pages constantly and constantly. Um, a disadvantage photocopying though is that when you print, so when you photocopy original paper, the photocopies will come out in a less quality than, um, than the original. Um, with photocopies as well, you can get two types, you can either photocopy in black and white or photocopy in colour. Um, with photocopying as well, it's mainly it can be used in businesses and schools, either way. With an inkjet printer, um, inkjet is pretty much a printer that um, places extremely small dots onto, of ink onto the paper to create the image. 
And within jet printers, they can be used within schools, businesses, or even at home. Um, with inkjet, a good advantage of inkjet is that it prints a good high, a good quality print, and it gives you a better aspect to print in. But, oh, but the problem is with inkjet printers is that they're a little bit too time consuming. Um, with it takes about two, three, four minutes to print a page, and if you wanted to print quite a few, um, quite a high amount of paper, then you're going to be waiting forever. Um, with desktop publishing, um, it's pretty much a form of program that can allow you to design, create, edit your, pu your publications however you want. This could be done less professionally in like um, Microsoft Office Word or Publisher or PowerPoint. However, the most technical advanced pieces of software that most businesses will use in design or um, Photoshop. The advantage to that is obviously you've got quick access on demand to your publications. You're not having to reprint. You're not having to re, um, re redesign it all. You've got it at the touch of your fingertips on your computer. And if if if, if you notice a spelling mistake or anything, you can quickly go back and change it. But a disadvantage to desktop publishing would be that some businesses prefer to have um, a sheet ready. While well, as you're gonna to have to have a computer on demand all the time to get um, to get your work up and get it edited as soon as. With laser printing, um, laser printers uh, use tiny jets of ink as opposed to cartridges in ink jets, and uh, the ink is just jetted onto the uh, onto the paper instead of putting small dots. Um, the advantage to this is that laser printing can be done within a matter of five seconds as opposed to the four minutes. Um, but a disadvantage is also, um, is also could be that it might produce a less high quality print again as opposed to inkjet. With digital screen printing, um, these are quite big fair machines that will mainly be used for t-shirt printing, for applying designs on t-shirts, kind of like what an inkjet does but in a bigger scale. Um, these are good because, as, as inkjets, they produce high quality prints onto t-shirts, can be used in various ways, but it takes a lot. Of, it takes quite a bit of skill to use a digital screen printer um, because you've got to think of the aspect of printing onto a t-shirt and getting it right. But um, and so that's why it's mainly just used in a business what's designed in the printing t-shirts. Um, with pre-press. This is pretty much the composition and layout changes before publication is printed um, for a, a final print. Now, with this, this can be this is a high-end job that requires a lot of skill, as you need to be finding the right bits of information, you need to be looking at the right colour schemes. Um, you can't just let a normal person do this; you need to have some experienced background in this area. Um, with press, this is the uh, this is obviously the final publication that will be you'll see on magazines and newspapers, um, and these will be achieved by obviously the firm um, could be used by big printers that could, or could be linked to mechanical. Either way, um, it's the final product. And the advantage of press would be that it's there in, in front of you. It's going to be there. You can get it wherever. Shops. While this, um, a disadvantage might be that you might um, press normally is in, in, in case of a mechanic, like it's physical mainly. Um, you'll see it in shops, but some people like to see it digital when it also is. But the digital is not really getting pushed forward enough more than, mechanic, um, more than physical prints at the minute. Finishing techniques is the final one and is pretty much the final touches to a print or a design, whether it be like laminating or embossing. Um, an advantage to this is obviously that you can get, you can get the finishing touches will give you an upper advantage in a business prospect. So if someone picks up your um, card, what's been laminated, they'll um, find it more better to look at and give you a better hand than someone who's just printed off a piece of paper and gave it to someone.
Now, the prices of these can range vary. With photocopiers, they can range from 400 to 10,000 pounds. Now, the 400 um, price mark is the low end, what most schools and learn places would use as they don't want to spend on massive, massive photocopiers. And generally, these will be the low end, low quality prints. While the, the photocopiers towards the higher range at 10,000 pounds are used industrially and will produce high quality prints. Um, inkjet printers can range as well from £20 to £2,000. Now, with £20, they're the, like the home users where they're just small little print, um, printers that print off a page or two of your little documents, but are never designed to print mass amounts. While as inkjet printers at £2,000 will be used in um, businesses and schools where they want to print out close to 1,000 pages a day, 5,000 pages a day, where it needs that on-demand access. Um, desktop publishing software um, would be, I can have a Microsoft Office, what is obviously, as I said, the low end. That ranges from 100, um, 100 pounds for like the basic single software, such as Publisher and Word and PowerPoint. But uh, for 300 pounds, is normally the full software package where you get everything included. Gives you a better, a better discount if you need an old program. Photoshop um, can range from £300 for a normal and standard edition, while it's about 600 for the extended edition, what gives you the better features, what most businesses will use, while as for the 300 quid version, you'll probably be using it in schools. Um, InDesign is stuck at £300, um, spot on price. Altogether, though, if, you want, if you're going to be using these programs a lot in all the aspects, you might be better off buying the full creative suite from Adobe, um, what ranges from about 700 to 1,000 um, pounds. Laser printers are about 50, um, 50 pounds to 25,000 pounds. This is because as the laser, um, as the laser printers, the more in demand and um, they're a better printer than you get. Um, laser printers can range up uh, the 50 pound ones could be whether like small them. Um, you could have one at home, but you mainly use it in a business. Um, so schools could have one ranging from £50 to like £200, um, where we're on a, a bit of a budget. But the £25,000 ones are all the top specs, where they'll, done, they'll be done in seconds. You'll be, you can produce A1, A2 sizes and stuff. Um, digital screen printers can range from £150 to £10,000. Um, with £150 um, ones, You'll, uh, you'll notice they're like a lower end, smaller version to produce um, digital prints on not really t-shirts but like um, embossing on card or whatever. Um, but with the £10,000 ones, there'll be full um, big printers that will be printing t-shirts constantly, like every minute or so. Um, with pre-press and press, it's dependent on the price because as it's a skill-based job, it's not mechanics, not really the, uh, the, me the mechanics that and the digital that um, work. It's mainly the person operating that, and the person operating that can be dependent on their salary where they're working, and that could be fifty thousand pound a year, seventy thousand pound, or nine thousand pound a year. And with finishing techniques. Um, they can range from £10 upwards, depending if you want to get your own finishing techniques, if you want to do it yourself, like businesses might want to have their own laminators, um, their own embossing machines where they can they'll have it on demand. However, if you want to get it printed, uh, if you want finishing techniques done by someone else, so you don't have to have the hassle of having one, you can get them from about, I think they'll laminate for about 99p. Um, Overall then, as I've, I've talked a bit about the advantages and disadvantages for individual um, um, pieces, digital printing overall is basically a more modern way of printing using technology. Prints faster and instant compared to others. Inexpensive, affordable in smaller amounts, so your low end range. Um, and a great flexibility in terms of material, instead of having to wait weeks and weeks and months in mechanical work. Hand. 
However, the disadvantages are you'll have a harder time calling my own match in as <coughs> when you're obviously mechanical in hand, you've got that um, hand in person style to it where the colours are going to be graded in person while as you're relying on a computer to grade your colours. Um, cracking can appear in the folds and uh, there are also few, fewer material options so you've only got like paper and cardboard while other, other things are different. And if you're going to be printing in larger scales it can become quite expensive so you need to be prepared if you're going to be taking this on a business point of view. That's our presentation. Well done. Well done. Good work. Right then. Finish filling in your sheets then.